Diamonds and nothing when I'm rocking with ya Diamonds and nothing when I'm shining with ya Just keep it white and black as if I'm your sister I'm too hip to hop around, time to hit with ya I know I get wow, wow, wow Wow, 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 thoughts Hey guys, it's Steph And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I refresh my curls Which is why my hair is looking a little rough, like what what is happening but i just wanted to show you how what basically what my morning routine is when i'm trying to stretch a wash and go so i'm on day four of this wash and go and i figured i would film me refreshing my curls and how i get them to pop after sleeping on them for if it's a good night eight hours so i figured i'd show you what it looks like so when i go to sleep i basically pineapple my hair and i throw a bonnet right on top of it um, and that's about it. And then in the morning when I take my bonnet off, which is basically what I look like right now, I just kind of take it down and it looks like this. I look like the weekend. Just let me take out my earrings because there's going to be a lot of shaking involved. <laughs> Hoochie hoops don't work with shaking your head. So I use a super big and stretchy hair elastic, um, to keep my curls up but not too tight where they get a dent in them so I don't wind it around a couple times I just use it like this so now my hair is a hot mess so I kind of wake up and I shake it out and then normally what I do I guess while I apply my makeup I'm gonna basically skip this stuff because I'm doing this live on camera but while I'm applying my makeup I will tie my hair just back like this with that same ponytail and leave it like that for the like five to 10 minutes that it takes to do my makeup. And I do that because it's been in a pineapple all night long. It tends to kind of sit up too high for me and it would just take too much shaking out and maneuvering to make it want to sit back low again. So I tie it down low and let it sit like that for like five to 10 minutes just so my hair gets used to like gravity, if that makes any sense. Cause I want my hair to sit lower. I don't want the roots to be puffed up and shaped to be going upwards. So once I'm done with that, I take my favorite hair oil and that one, it, the one I'm using right now and I'm loving right now is a Shea Olive and Mango Mandarin mix. It smells like straight up mangoes. It's so good. I take a pump of that, rub it through my palms and just rub that throughout my hair. So. This just kind of helps control any frizz that I might have gotten throughout the night. I've got a mirror in front of me, which is why I might not make co eye contact. <laughs> so, <laughs> my hair's killing me. <laughs> okay, so rub that through, shake my hair out. It's basically all about loosening up that tight hold your hair was under, because it gets smushed under that bonnet and get smushed under that hair tie. So next I take my handy pick and I kind of just fluff out my roots. I remember when I was transitioning, I would watch people like refresh their curls in the morning. And even when I was texturized, I couldn't refresh my curls. I would have to do my hair every single damn day. It was so annoying. Um, but yeah, I used to get like jealous when I'd watch people refresh their curls in the morning and be like, wow, it must be so nice to be able to do a wash and go and have it last for so long. But like honestly, the wash and go is so much work. Either, whatever, like, I, I mean, I feel like hair in general is just a lot of work if you're trying to be popping and fly. <laughs> like, it's just always going to be work. It doesn't matter if you're team weave, you're team natural, you're team dreads, a team whatever, like, it's always going to be work. So, the grass isn't always greener. Anyways, so now I've got that all fluffed out, so we're looking a little better now. And I'm gonna take my spray bottle. Um, this is filled with my favorite oils. I'm gonna do a video on my favorite natural hair oils so I can kinda get into what's in my spray bottle mix. But that's why I have to shake it because the oils tend to sit at the top and I want all that goodness in my hair. So I part my hair to the side. I'm not neat with my part. I don't take like a rat tail comb or anything like that. I just kinda let it fall where it will. So this is my side part. And I take my spray bottle and the only place that I spray is just this little corner right here in the front because that's where I'm going to slick down my hair a little bit. I then take my boar bristle brush and 
slick down these edges. I usually have my toothbrush with me, but I'm just realizing now that I forgot that upstairs, so I'm just gonna use my war bristle brush instead. And then take my favorite gel, which is the castor oil gel, Eco Styler, stick my finger in it, and smooth down those edges. Bobby pins. And I just tuck those in however I like. I like like a, uh, I don't know why I like to slick only one side of my hair. It's just my thing, I don't know. It's a style that I'm feeling right now. And, okay, those are in there. So now, I just fluff it out some more. And then if you have any frizzies, all you've got to do is spray them with some water and finger coil, whatever's frizzing, with your gel. And that's about it. So, voila. We went from a high pony to fluffed out curls. A little frizzy, but that's because these are Am I on day four or day five? I don't even remember at this point. All I know is this hair is stale <laughs> and due for a wash and go in the next two days or so. So the frizzies and stuff are starting to pop up. But you know, this is definitely something I can walk in the street with and feel cute and fly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to refresh your curls in the morning and stretch your wash and goes. If you liked it and you want to see more like it or you just want to see a little more of me, don't forget to subscribe down below and don't forget to like this video and comment your thoughts down below as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Diamonds and nothing when I'm rockin' with ya Diamonds and nothing when I'm shining with ya Just keep it white and black as if I'm your sister I'm too hip to hop around, time to hit with ya I know I get wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow